What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat and today we are checking out a game called Warriors Rise to Glory. A arena gladiator game where you will equip a warrior and use turn-based combat in order to finish your opponent in hilarious ways. That's right. You can break dance. You can throw poo at him. You can execute him with a machete to the neck if you want to. This game is actually pretty cool. So let's go ahead and check it on out. This is more or less my first impressions of the game. I played a tiny bit, but not a whole lot. So let's see if it's something that's going to be right up your alley and something you want to add to your inventory. Enter your name. My name shall be Poke Breaker. Exactly, because I've got like a little pokey stick right there. The breaker of two chains, father of dragons. First of his name seems like a good plan. Then we can choose what our guy looks like. Seems all right to me. What kind of hair do we have going on over here? I kind of like that hair right there. I'm going to go with that one. Although we could go straight Super Saiyan down there if we wanted to. I want to have like a big old beard. Absolutely. I'm fine with his eyes being like normal. Tattoos wise, yeah, dude. Let's be all Polynesian and whatnot. Although we do have like Celtic stuff down here. Let's do that one. Let's do that one. That one's dope. Or we can just be like straight thug life if we really want to. As far as scars go, I'm going to go with that one right there. We got ripped open. All right. So we have points. We have strength, which gives us strength based weapons. We have agility, which means that we apparently get like some kind of slingshot. We've got attack power. We've got chance to dodge. We've got vitality. How will vitality affect my health? Okay, so that gives us a little bit of health. We have our endurance over here too. Okay, so let's go with like a little bit of extra chance to hit. Let's go with a little bit of extra chance to dodge. I'm going to go with like two strength, one right there. We'll go like... That seems okay to me, like a jack of all trades build just while we get this thing filled out. We try to figure out what we're trying to do. Uh, we also have our attribute points all ready to go. We're done. Let's play the Dust Bowl. I've got a stick, and that guy's got a shank, and he's got a Bob Ross fro. He's only got two HP. Oh, this guy's about to get dominated on. We're about to handle this man. Hold on. How come he gets to be on the left side? I want to be on the left side. Oh, he's going to rest. Okay. All right. Let's do a... We have a 67% chance with a medium attack. Let's do it. Uh, oh, we buried him. The man is down with one singular strike. He begs for his life with a bag of gold. Do we allow him to live? <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at that. It's sophomoric and immature, but for some reason it makes me happy. Apparently we got a bunch of money and a new knife. We've also leveled up. All right, so we can now entertain, and we've got the charge action. Okay, let's continue. What happens in between rounds? You have received a new item. Let's go check it out. We've got a shiny shank. Let's go ahead and swap that in for the weird little stick that we were using. We also have the shop over here. Here you can find various goods to help you obliterate anybody that gets in your way. Right-click to buy or whatever. All right, so we can get a homeless helmet. We can get homelessness armor. What kind of weapons do we have over here? Oh, they're locked till agility four, I guess. Okay. Well, we did level up, so let's maybe go back and let's check out our character stats and see how many attribute points we got. Yeah, perfect. Uh, let's take that up to five, I guess, so that we can get some new items. I'm going to get some extra hit chance, dude. I just don't want to miss. We'll work on HP next level, since we're apparently going to be like a badass warrior. Let's go to the shop. We've got homeless pantaloons. What kinds of what kinds of weapons? Oh, I don't have enough money. Oh. Okay, well let's buy some body armor and some gloves. And that'll have to be good enough for right now. Perfect. So we're a little bit better off right now. Not really, but at least we've got something. So we can do a duel or we can do a tournament. Okay. What's in the tavern? Let's find out. I can place... Oh, it's battle dice. I can gamble. Okay, I'm not a big gambler. I tend to get addicted to gambling, so I'm not going to do that. We've got our lineage, apparently. Let's go for another duel. Let's do this thing. We have Victor, the practice target. Victor, something tells me that you're about to have a terrible day. Like, my character looks like an absolute badass right now, clad in wood. Whoa, hey now. Hey now. Slow your roll, G. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Enjoy that straight to the domer. 
Two to three damage. We got him. There it is. Finish him off. Will this man receive the farts or will this man receive the blade? Let it be decided. He shall receive the farts. Oh, never mind. We kicked him in the nuts. Apparently, we're just going to walk away like a gangster after we kicked a man in the dick. Ah, kicking him in the dick ends up with a Thug Life windscreen. All right. <laughs> no question. I'm not even going to I'm not even going to ask. Kind of Dude, this man broke my gloves. No, he didn't. Never mind. Okay. I thought maybe I had to replace my gloves after every single fight. I don't know if I should buy more armor or if I should buy I mean, I am kind of scared for my wiener right now, so let's protect my wiener over everything else. There we go. My wiener is officially protected by the power of the forest. This guy's got a shiv and a severely messed up face. I don't know if he spent, like, the earlier part of his life making face bacon in the kitchen or what's going on. Oh, he's got 17 health. This guy's a little tougher. All right. I think we can outlast him, though. I am unafraid. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. Bleed for me, bro. Bleed. I got to rest to get my stamina back. Hold on. We're stamina. Oh, he broke my chest piece. Oh. Two to three damage. I'm going to stay with medium. I feel like the gamble is better on medium. What does that do? Haste? They help you move farther each turn? I don't think I need that. I think we're good. Apparently the crowd is sort of, can I rally drains 35 from your appointment? Yeah, do that. Apparently they threw a toilet at my enemy and finished him off with my super limit break. The farts or the gold, sir? Let it be known. He chooses the farts. Oh, we're gonna kick him in the nuts some more. We gotta thug life it up apparently. We gotta drop some fat beats out here. I like the swagger of the walk away, though. I also like the 2007 memes. I'm enjoying that. We just need a few poorly cropped gifs of, like, Snoop Dogg dancing in the background. And I think we'd really kind of be there with what we're aiming for. All right, we've leveled up. Let's do this thing. So what do we get? We got the kick action. We've got a new execution, which I'm down with. That sounds super awesome. We got a skill point. What does a skill point do for me? Let me go to my character sheet here, and I'm a little bit worried. I mean, I can't, part of me wants to mash out attacks so that I always hit. Part of me. But then again, part of me also wants to make my character like a juggernaut who never runs out of stamina or anything else. And can just, like, attack through the pain. I'm going to go with stamina. We're going to stamina dump this. All right, so skills-wise. Oh, we've got a skill tree up in here, too. We've got inner might. Upon resisting... Oh, when you rest, you get additional damage next turn. It reduces incoming range damage. We've got when you hit your opponent in the knee, you ruin his chances of ever becoming an adventurer, crippling him and limiting his movement to one grid only. We also have a critical strike chance right there. We have gold digger. We get extra coins for every treasure you pick up. And charmer. Let's go with critical strike. I'm a big fan of crit builds. There's nothing better than going to swing at somebody and hitting them for like five times damage and just being like, yup, that's what happens. 602 to get a new weapon. I'm going to see if I can last the next fight to get enough to buy a real weapon. Oh, this guy has a ton of armor. That's not good. But he does have a lot less stamina than this, so he's going to be wasting turns, like, all the time. Well, I'm going to entertain, too, then. Breakdance contest, son. You've been served. That's right. The crowd is on my side, dude. I'm just going to keep cheering. You can close the gap and then get smacked. What does that Red Bull do? It fully restores my energy. I'll fall back to that in just a minute. Oh, these dodges are not working. These dodges are a big problem. Oh, no. Uh, rest, I guess. Yeah, get as much back as you can. This might allow him to take the lead, though. Apparently, this is what we're doing right now. I'm going to rally the crowd because his meter is getting kind of full. And that'll give me a little bit of damage. Yeah! Killed him with another toilet. I am the Toilet Bowl Avenger. 
Prepare to receive the swirly. I'll take your money. That's fine. I will I will receive thy money. It's weird that none of these guys have received an honorable death yet. We got a whole bunch of bonus on that one. Yeah, let's get a better weapon. I'm a little bit worried about how survivable we are, but a quest has appeared. It can bring great fortune or dire ills. The choice is yours. I accept. Let's do it. I'm all about the questy life. You are going to the city streets happy and peaceful. In the city center, you notice a wanted poster of a man accused of kicking random people in the nuts wearing thug glasses and a hat. The price on his head is something silvers. Suddenly, just near it, you see a man who looks just like the poster. Will you catch him and receive the bounty? Yes. You manage to outrun him, but find out his gang, the Ball Crackers, just arrived to help him. They're in four. Will you engage or flee, protecting your two best friends? Boop. You understand the odds are against you, and you run away. That's right. I'm not trying to get kicked in the nuts today. I'm not trying to get kicked in the nuts. There are very few things I'm afraid of. Getting kicked in the nuts is one of them. Alright, so we have a new weapon. An actual, real weapon. I'm also going to buy a homeless man's helmet. Because why not? We might as well cloak ourselves in the shade of the cask. Survival, huh? What does survival do? Welcome to survival mode, the place for warriors to test their valor. You face endless enemies, taking them down one after the other until you run out of juice. The longer you survive, the greater the rewards are. Okay. I don't have any money for that, so unfortunately we're not going to be able to do that right now. They are getting stronger, though, and this concerns me. Did you just shoot me in the shin with a slingshot? Bro. Apparently there was also a booby trap right there. Oh my god. No! We're pretty messed up right now, man. There's a really good chance we ain't walking away from this one. No! That man had a fat advantage, though. He had a ranged weapon and a booby trap in front of him. I accept death like a true warrior. I don't believe in begging for my life. I will not be farted on. That will not be my family's final memory of who I am. All right, well, Poke Breaker, first of his name, has died. But thanks to a clever economic strategizing, he saved a lot of coins. And he left everything to you, his son. Unfortunately, lawyers don't come cheap in the Indie Kingdom, and Aziz taxes are almost as cruel as the man himself. Poke Breaker, first of his name, was a great and ruthless warrior. During his journey, he killed many, collecting their souls just for you to become stronger. Every soul point he gained will forever remain in your bloodline in the form of additional attribute and skill points. Good luck on your journey, and try not to end up like Poke Breaker this time. All right. Uh, this guy's name is going to be Fragbringer. Perfect. Fragbringer, mother of kittens. We got 10 points because it didn't give me any soul points because we never killed anybody. Bummer, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go with stamina. All right, this time around, we're going to make it through this. Apparently, we're fighting Naruto. It's okay. He's got blue hair. I don't know who has blue hair in Naruto because I've never watched that show due to the social stigma. Stigma. There's a T in that word. Fall back. Yeah, close the distance. All right. I'll be on my way. I can stab a dude now. I don't care how far. If I can be strong. I don't need your money. No mercy, I harvest your soul. See, I didn't know that I got a bonus for not farting on people. The game had to make that more clear that you get a bonus for not farting on people. Yeah, soul point. All right, so with our level up, I'm going to keep pushing. We've got five over here. Let's get Woodcutter. I'm going to go for all hit rate this time around. Although, frankly, actually, no. No, 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 no. Let's get some dodge. We've got 24% bonus dodge chance. All right, we got to decide what we want to equip. We got to keep Dad's armor, which is great. And we have 832 gold. 
I will get an upgraded weapon, I think. That's good. And then in the shop, we will also buy some shoes or something. Yeah, shoes are good. Let's get some shoes. Shoes make me happy. And in the shop, can I sell that for two silver? That's not very much, but it's going to have to do for right now. All right. Next duel. We can win. We can survive through this. To battle with no regrets. <laughs> nice try. Nothing personnel, kid. You have been eliminated. I don't know if I want the money or if I want the soul point. I kind of feel like the soul points are important to me. Die, coward. Your paltry gold. Why don't you just pick up the gold after you killed him? It's right there on the ground. Like, something tells me this is not necessarily the most honorable of professions. Like, why are we treating it as such? We could kill him and we could also have the gold. Oh, really? Your soul level levels. Oh, it makes sense now. You get the one soul point every time you fill up the meter. I thought we got one for every single kill. Gotcha. Makes sense. Let's go to the shop and buy some more armor. Uh, with what we have right now, we can get some pants and some gloves. Looks good. Let's do this thing. Buzzy the Fierce. You don't look that fierce to me, but I've been surprised in the past. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna entertain the crowd real fast. Time to say goodbye to your nuts. A fearsome threat indeed. Yeah, you're already stammed out, huh? This ain't looking so good for you. Oh, he got free treasure. Hold on, I'm gonna stab him in the stomach with an axe, which I'm pretty sure is not how an axe is used, but we're gonna do that anyways. What say you, coward? I will take your money. Yep, just kick him in the nuts. There you go. Get it out of your system. Get it out of your... I know, it builds up. Every now and again, you just really need to kick somebody in the nuts. Like, I understand. Okay, so we've got, like, some money. And we leveled up. We gotta, we gotta do good, though, this time around. We gotta do good. Apparently, level 11 is the maximum you can achieve in the game. I don't know what I want to do. We can get a slingshot so that we can fight people via range. We can get factory worker. Or we can pump it into dodge and a little bit of HP. So we've got the slingshot there. I don't know if this is that severe of a decision with the amount of time that I'm putting into it, but we'll do what we've done right there. Let's go to the shop and see if we can find anything range that's going to be useful. I will buy the slingshot, and then instead of doing what any normal human being would do, uh, starting weapon should definitely be... Okay, we'll start out with the slingshot. It's fine. Uh, back in the shop. I don't think there's anything else we can afford for right now, but we're looking pretty good. What does it want me to... Oh, yeah, my skills. I forgot about that. My skills is... Yeah, let's take the range damage reduction, even though I don't think we were getting hit hard enough at range for that to actually matter. We're still going to do it. To battle! This guy moves really far. I find that to be concerning. Yeah, get that armor off him. Ooh, and a dodge. Nice. Perfect. You just got to keep this thing going. Yup. A little critical action right there. Oh, he's got gold, though. I kind of want that gold. You're bleeding? Good. I hope you are. I hope it bleeds all day long. I hope you cut yourself shaving tomorrow. I hope it bleeds all day long. I do want that silver. Let me get it, though. Um, we can root him? Yeah, let's do it. Throw bananas at this dude. Banana this man up. And then we will rest while he's doing his thing over there. And then I'll do a little break dance over here just to kind of... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you just invite me kindly to suck it? Oh, apparently we're doing the chicken dance now, too.
That dodge came at like a really good time. That dodge also came at a really good time. Pretty happy about it. As long as he doesn't crit, we should be all right. All right, perfect. We've killed him off. I wanted to experiment in that fight with like playing around with light attacks and just seeing how they function. How much gold you got? How much cash you got? 120? Nah, man, your soul is mine. <laughs> I enjoyed that way more than I probably should have. I I enjoyed that far more than expected. Like I thought he was just going to like punch his head off or something. But no. Uh, no head punching. Nothing like that happened. Can I buy any better armor? Like, what kind of armor do we have here? We have, like, spiked armor. We have a helmet. We might as well buy the good helmet. Like, we have the money for it. So why not, like, add a whole bunch to our armor? All right. It's time for another duel. Let's see how well we succeed out here. Arjuna, the son of God. Are you sure? That doesn't seem very mess messianic. There you go. That didn't do anything. Now I'm disappointed. Really? I missed with an 85% chance. Oh, that's not... Oh, dude. Got hit in the balls. Yeah, what are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? You got problems. You better come get me. I ain't coming over there. Please believe I am not the one. Oh, the traps move. Oh, and you've been smacked in the nuts. That's what you get. That's what you get. That's what you get. Tell me, do you bleed? Not really. Not really. It's a gift that I have. I'm gonna keep entertaining because we can finish him off with a limit break if I can get like one more. And he was being he was killed by being smacked in the nuts by a hunting trap. I like this game. I'm enjoying it. It's simple, but it's juvenile enough to be fun. Sorry, Broham. It's not your fault, but like I need to I need to have your soul in my collection. You know, it's really kind of a buyer's market right now on souls, and I really need to catch up with the equity that other people have been putting into their soul stocks. Got 427 right there. Can I afford anything in the shop that's like next tier up? I can get some spike gauntlets or some spike shoes. Let's get some spike gauntlets. That sounds good. I think I'll probably sell those. All right, let's fight this thing out. We're going to level up soon. Oh, this guy's got a shield. Interesting. Oh, and he moves really far, too. All right. Oh, I should have swapped weapons. That was stupid. His damage seems kind of inconsequential, though. I don't know how much HP he has compared to how much armor and HP we have. Ow, dude. Ow! That's fine, man. Do what you gotta do. I'll just be over here, you know, popping and locking. V-stepping. Making it happen. Oh, he's got moves now. Apparently, it's on. They help you move farther each turn. I don't care about that. Mm. He definitely has quite a bit of HP. There we go. Hit him with the toilet bowl. Feed him the toilets. Bye. Tis but a scratch. Well, you know, normally when I take a toilet to the side of the head, I'm a bit more concerned about it, but... How come no one has honor and wants to die by my blade? Like, nobody wants to die in honor. They all want to give me money. I never give up the money. I always say, kill me now, coward. That's because I go hard in the paint, though. I go real hard in the paint. 
Oh, really? We get five soul shards. Hell yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about. We got another skill point, too. Nice. All right, so with our skill points over here, we have one more. I'm going to increase my critical strike chance. Like, I know it's probably smartest to dedicate all my points to one thing down here, but I just don't care. I just can't be bothered to do it. Things that I feel we're lacking right now, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, having a better ranged weapon would be cool. But I just don't know if it's manageable. Like, endurance is holding out just fine. Attack we could probably use a little bit more of as our opponents get better at dodging. Is that making me bigger as I get more strength? I think it is. It's making me larger as I get more strength. I become more imposing. So I need one more point for factory worker. I think that should be okay. Like, I'd like to put some more points into dodge and parry or whatever, but... Such is life. Oh, really? We have to defeat all the rivals in the tournament? Oh. There is no mercy in the tournament. Eight warriors will enter, and only one will leave alive as the champion. All right, let's go. So we're up against... Is his name Jewman? Hold on, what? <laughs> is he like a player? Oh, is that like pre-programmed into the game? I don't know if I'm playing against other players right now. Uh, let's go. Yeah, we'll just, I don't know, put some slingshotty business on him. Oh, he's got a bow. That might not work. Yeah, I think we're going to have to close. All right. Let's get started murdering this guy. Oh, he kicked me. What a dick. Definitely not going to let that happen. The disrespecting banana. Arm your crowd with more bananas, adding three bars to your excitement meter. I'm okay with that. That sounds good to me. He's got to swap weapons anyway, so he's not going to be able to do anything unless he closes the gap. He did do a lot of damage, though, with what he had going on. Good, we need that dodge right about now. Oh, he's got a lot of HP, dude. All right, hit him with the toilet. The toilet of shame. Give it to him. Feed forth the toilet. We need the bonus damage. I kind of feel like when they're stunned, you should just get, like, a free hit. Like, it should just be 100%. Oh, my God, he hits so hard. I got to make up the gap. We're going to have to start hitting him with something bigger. There we go. Oh, he's throwing bananas at me now. Gotcha. I mean, we could turn this into a banana flinging contest if you really want it to be. There you go, man. Ow. Not enough stamina. Oh, dude, we're toast. We're not going to make it. Oh, he can move so far. Oh, we're toast. It was a close battle. It was a close and bitter battle. Yeah, entertain, I guess. Oh, lame. There is no mercy in the arena. I take my death like a true warrior. Well, I hope you guys liked this game. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me for an episode of Warriors Rise to Glory. I will see you all next time. Hi, dude. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. It helps me out more than you know. Goodbye, Fragbringer.